If you are looking for ways to manage your tinnitus yourself, either before or during treatment, we have a few suggestions to help you find some degree of relief. Tip number one, learn to relax. It is common to worry about tinnitus, and this stress seems to worsen the symptoms. To alleviate this tension, learning to relax is an important part of the relief process. Yoga, deep breathing exercises, and progressive muscle relaxation are just a few of the techniques you can use to help you relax. We have a few videos on this channel to help with these techniques. Some people find that aromatherapy, improved posture, massage, reflexology, craniofacial therapy, and yoga have similar relaxing benefits. Since no two people are the same, you will most likely have to test out different strategies to see which are most effective for you. Tip number two, avoid silence. Increasing the amount of background noise in your home or workplace to a safe level can help lessen your focus on tinnitus. This noise could include pleasant, low-level sounds from a television, radio, or recorded music, from a fan, a ticking clock, or from outside through an open window. Alternatively, you could use sound generators that play natural sounds or shape noise at a volume that is just below that of your tinnitus. In a totally quiet environment, your brain will try to hear any sound more clearly, including the sound of your tinnitus. Therefore, it is important to try to avoid complete silence, especially when you are trying to sleep at night, because the brain is still active while sleeping. Also on our channel, we have provided a playlist of soothing sounds for you to use during the day or night. In many cases, spouses and other sleeping companions without tinnitus find these soothing sounds beneficial to their sleep as well. Tip number three, stay active. Keeping active and involved in your interests and hobbies can enhance your quality of life, taking your focus away from your tinnitus. You may also want to try something new, rekindle an old interest, or help in the community. Staying active not only keeps your mind busy, but is also the key to optimal physical health. Many experts today recommend at least 40 minutes of physical activity each day, such as taking a walk or going to the gym. Tip number four, earplugs do not always help. The only time you should wear earplugs is to prevent damage from loud environments. If you have tinnitus, you should not wear any kind of earplugs that make it more difficult to hear. They will not help your tinnitus. In fact, they will probably increase your tinnitus perception when you are wearing them as they decrease the contrast effect and put your focus solely back on your tinnitus. Hearing protection is necessary when loud sounds are present for extended periods of time but tinnitus patients who overuse hearing protection typically develop another problem called hyperacusis. This form of decreased sound tolerance makes people overly sensitive to everyday sounds. Talk to your audiologist about proper use of hearing protection if you have any questions. Tip number five, stay healthy. It is also important to monitor your overall health and well-being. If you find that certain foods or drinks, activities or situations aggravate your tinnitus, you should consider cutting down on these or finding alternatives. Many patients have been told to eliminate all salt and caffeine from their diets when they have tinnitus. However, not everyone will have these as a tinnitus trigger. I have found that keeping everything in moderation is a more realistic mindset, and that if you discover a tinnitus trigger in your diet, you should be mindful of reducing or eliminating it to have more control. This may require making a few adjustments in your lifestyle, such as eating less salty foods or drinking less caffeinated drinks, but tinnitus doesn't have to stop you from enjoying a great quality of life. Tip number six, get good sleep. Sleep is also a very important factor in managing tinnitus. If you are not getting enough deep sleep, you will never feel fully rested and refreshed. This is because deep sleep is when there is an inhibition period whereby the neurons in the brain are silent. It's during this period that the neurons can rest. Some patients with tinnitus annoyance only need a sound generator in the room to fall asleep faster. Others need to alter their whole sleep routine if they are not getting at least four consecutive hours of sleep each night. Taking a closer look at your habits right before you go to sleep is often necessary to make improvements in your ability to achieve deep sleep. Avoiding screens before we want to go to sleep, such as TVs and cell phones, is one simple change that can make a big difference for many. 
In summary, most of these tips would be recommended as part of a good self-care program. Self-care has been clinically proven to reduce anxiety and depression. Since we know tinnitus and decreased sound tolerance can cause subconscious stress, incorporating some of these tips with good overall self-care should help as part of your total treatment plan. If you like this video, please click the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of our tinnitus resources.